Yo, welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Ramora Jewel, and today we're going to be playing Witchwood. Oh, look at how beautiful this game is. I'm so excited. So, a little bit about the game. Uh, Witchwood is a dark fantasy indie adventure game um, that was made about two years ago by Alien Trap. Um, I don't know anything about this game besides it looking super, super cute, super my aesthetic. And I love the witchy, uh, cottage core kind of stuff. So I figured why not give it a try for the channel and just to give it a try and yeah, let me stop rambling and just play. Oh my God, this is so cute. Ooh, I love that little sigil. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. She spent most of her days telling, tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. Ah! Who's there? Oh my god, this is so Oh, right in my ear. Okay. <laughs> you devil! How did you- How dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep? <laughs> Bro, what is- <sighs> Lord. Shoot! Shoot! Get out of my house, you mindless beast! You're making a mess! With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. Wait. Are those my feet? Am I the Baba Yaga? No. Bob no, not Baba Yaga. Was it that? I can't remember. It's the old witch that lives in, in, a, in a house and, and her feet, in the house's feet, are, are, are chicken feet, I think. Someone correct me in the comments. I can't remember. Look at my feet! When did this get so clustered? Oh, cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first. My old grimoire must be found- well, must be around here somewhere. Oh. New chapter. First things first. I love this design. The music is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the animation! I love this. It's so cute. Okay, let's look for the grimoire. Oh! Oh, that's cool. I like that. I have a spindle. Okay. Oh. Is that, is that bubbling? Is this- there we go. Aha! Here it is. Hmm. It's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing X. Okay. Oh, damn. Girl. We, uh... We haven't really done nothing. Okay. All my recipes are missing! That... Damnable creature has chewed up all the pages of my book. Where's my belt? I'll need it to carry my things if I'm to go confront the beast. I must have left it in that trunk over there. Is it this? Ye. Braided belt. A simple rope waistband. Keeps things handy. Oh, there's all the stuff in here. Empire nut? Empire nut? A thorny husk has stimulating properties, whether ground and consumed or simply stepped on. Well, I mean, yeah, that shit look prickly as fuck. I wouldn't want to step on that either. Reedy twine, tough plant fibers, roughly braided into a thin rope. How cool! Oh wait, I didn't. I can read that. Oh well. Interesting. Oof, my poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. 
least I can- I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. Okay. So I guess it's the mending poultice here. Mm, I need stuff for that though. Collect ingredients to craft the mending poultice. Do I have that around the house or do I have to actually go in? Oh, okay, we're good. Uh, and you. I have to go to the cauldron to make- no? Okay. That's fine. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. This is so cute. I love this. Ah! Use the mending poultice to heal. ZR. I love how that looks! That's so cool! Go outside. Okay. I can go outside now. To the outside! This is so- Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. So I have to hold a lot of stuff here. Okay, that's fine. I love this, guys. I love this so much. This is so cool. You step outside into a humid marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ow! Ouch! Close your eyes for a wink and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone through the weeds. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear brain through the dense bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? He could at least put those gnashes to good use on this lawn. Oh, press minus to open your map and get a better look at your surroundings. Okay. Okay. Wait, no. Oh, there we go. There! There's that motherfucker! My little scavenger brain just wants to go ahead and like collect a Hold up, 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 hold up. Why? Why is there a big old billy goat statue? What is going on here? If this is supposedly my house and my area. What the fuck? Okay, that's a cool statue though. Yo! Homeboy! Is that all you've got to say for yourself? But <coughs> The goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. Ew! Ah, yes. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? You can speak. Mm. Apologies. It's been so long I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck. There's dirt in my mouth. <coughs> Talk? Of course I can talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken. Though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Down there. The goat nods its head towards the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. I have amnesia. your witch's eye with Y to inspect objects and creatures and discover their weakness. Cool. Oh. Stone pillar. Weakness. Unyielding power. Okay. Hag shroom. An oddly shaped fungus with an evil odor. <laughs> an evil odor. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lie below the surface. Ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched into the surface of the stone, but they're too faint for me to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have had—I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. 
I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as a result of abyssal possession. The fuck you mean? Mm. I'm gonna hold you accountable. By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes to craft in your grimoire. Cool. <laughs> craft an God, that's loud in my ear. Okay. The goat. I'll help you out. Trust me. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm guessing I need... Okay, so I need... I already have a mushroom, but I need two... Oh, no. Over here. I need a mushroom. Oh, I already have these. Perfect. Wait, but... Oh, I don't have another, um... Sock? Seeker vine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, seeker vine, seeker vine, seeker vine. You. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wait, no. Gotta remember my buttons. Interesting. Yep. Smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. A cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelops the entrance in its aura. You squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. Gibberish is this? Looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm, it must be written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. Goat steps up to the goat. Eh, the goat steps up to the goat. I. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark, matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I. I cannot see. Unbelievable. What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came here to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. I love this. I love this so much. Down in the garden. You? Yeah, I was trying- No, not- Stop it! Simple steel snips to cut through a surprising variety of things. Ooh, and more twine. That's what I like to see. Alright, goat. Your days are numbered! Ah, bring your ass here! <laughs> With much protesting and a nicked ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh my, were you always this grotesque, or is my memory failing me as well? Fuck you. Watch your tongue, or I'll give it a good snip too. Now can you read the runes, or not? Mm. Yes. <clears throat> a space beneath, she sleeps alone. Tokens given upon, given up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone. Braziers burn and await the crone. Crone? Who's it calling a crone? Who are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look at those braziers. Braziers? The shrine bra- Oh, is it these? Is it- Is it those? Or is it- I don't know. I yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. No. Mm. Mm. I should snip these anyway, but it's not what I'm here to do, so. Okay, I guess I go back over here. Razors. Oh, those! Duh. Ash-caked brazier. The remnants of his last burned are barely discernible from the time since. Blue feather, dog hair, I hope I don't have to kill a dog. 
Little remains in this brazier, but an undeniably acrid smell. Frog slime. Some past contents have left a hard residue within. Shiny stone. The inside catches the light just enough to suggest some past iridescence. Interesting. Dog hair, bird feather, frog slime, and a shiny stone. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep? I don't think so. But feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know. See that gateway over there? The one with the lovely green flame? The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these creaky joints some good. Too much time indoors is bad for the humors. I love this. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. Shnip! Oh, into the dark- no, hold up. Snipping and tearing, your shears make short work of the bramble. Can I do that to the other stuff around my house then? Because it's, it's looking pretty swampy around here and... We'll just take everything. I'm I am a I am very much the collector. I I love this kind of stuff. Please just let me forage. Can I do more? No. Okay, fine. Okay. Into the darkness. That little loading thing where you have to hold it in order to do that, that makes me think of um of House Moving Castle for his door. Huh. You cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step into a cold stone dais. Time seems to flow backwards, or maybe it speeds forwards? An oppressive, star-filled void stretches as far as you can see. Though there is no wind or sound in this void, a warm fall breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Hello, what are you? No, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, what was it? Witch's eyes with a Y. Hearth seed. When grown sharply against the ground, oh, when thrown sharply against the ground, this seed will spirit you back to cozy comfort. Interesting, I'll take that. I shall take that, my dear! Okay, so I guess I go this way. To the forest. I love this. This is so pretty. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, why is this so pretty? What is this? Okay, a fallen tree overgrown with mushrooms and moss. The weakness is logger's hatchet. Okay, well, I see some stuff hidden around in here, so let me go ahead and be the little... The little mongrel that I am and just start collecting everything! Bird! Oh. Wait, I need a blue feather though. So do I need it from one of those birds? Can I have you? Oh, hello. Oh, she's pretty and she's a person of color! The woman spins around on her heels so quickly she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, you startled me. Can't you see I'm busy with my specific research? Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why, the famed indigo tuft, tufted forest lark. They're said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one perchance? You glance upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. I haven't, sorry. A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. 
She points at a nearby woodland critter stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation is key. Now, why don't, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The bluebird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat! This is why birds ain't shit, my guy! This is why they ain't shit! Oh. Interesting. Okay. Snap trap. Okay. Bird watcher. A faraway look in her eyes as she looks upon the far away. <laughs> All right. Interesting. How do I get you? I need. I need to make a snap trap. Okay. Let's go. So I need. Wait, no. Come on. Uh, Grimoire again. I need... Small wood... But how do I check what that is? I know I have that, but where... Oh, there we go. Uh, wicker wood. It's craftable. Oh! Okay. And I only needed one of those? Oh, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead. I mean, where would I really put it? Anywhere? Do I just put it anywhere? Land your ass in my trap. No, not you. Oh, at least I have meat. I wanted the bird. All right. Guess I'll make another one. <laughs> I need more of that. I just have to get it from the forest. Okay, that's fine. Ah, la da 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 dum, la di da di da di dum, di dum dum dum. See, this is why my little brain is just, it's just, wah. <laughs> I could just catch you with my bare hands if I wanted to. Oh, hello. Gaston, you survived? Is that you? Is that you, Gaston? Ew, never mind. Oh, you know, actually, you know what? No, that probably is Gaston. Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery? I'm afraid I just fired the kilns up. So they'll be a while still. Pottery? Bah. I was just admiring that fine canine over there point to a scraggly looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a petting? Oh, you can try. I wouldn't if you value your fingers. She's a touch bitey today. Doesn't much like people getting near the ovens. I have a way with animals. Surely I can find something to calm her down. Isn't it just a good old thing that I decided... Oh, never mind. Scroll... Scapor... Soporific morsel and shears. Do I have that? How do I make that? Okay, so I need leaf cap, a jar of water, and a empire nut. Okay. Interesting. I'm loving this. Oh! Blast! Plus, there's more! Oh, yay! Oh, wait. Sir, I need your hatchet. Give me your hatchet, please. Hi, you there. Give me a hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. These stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son was supposed to help me, but he's wandered off again. 
probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just be careful with the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerful sleep. They'll make you powerful sleepy if you breathe into spores. As much as I love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense! Anyone can pick up the experience, the joys of splitting a fine stump. Here, my boy wouldn't be missing his hatchet. The woodsman spins a sharp-looking hatchet in his hand and thrusts the handle at you. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and take your little nuts over here, bruh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Love it. Ooh, okay, so I got the leaf cap. I got that. So I just need a jar of water. I could dig out some coals with the right tool. Okay. Interesting. I need that damn bird. I need that damn bird! Give me the bird! <laughs> Give me the bird! I need its feathers! My god. Give me the bird. Oh, I don't have... Okay. Let's just craft a couple of these. There we go. Let's just make a couple of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no other fucking bird- well, other squirrels around here that's gonna try and take this shit. Bird, come over here. I'm taking- No, you did- I'll take that. 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 Blue feather. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take it. That's fine. But no, that's not actually what I wanted, but that's fine. Give me all of it. Oh, this is- this is great! Oh, there's so much more over here. Give me all the twigs and leaves. I would like them all. So, hold on. Oh, okay. That's just a plant that's- okay. Give me the knot! I love this. Okay. Um, alright, so let's go ahead and... I need to make... Actually, I need water. Where would I go and get water from? Or I could just hack at it! Like, bro, I could just- I could just hack at it, but okay. Alright, that's fine, whatever. Okay, so... Which way to the village? Wait, the goat's over here? Lucif amphibians. Okay. Wait, no, it's not what I want to do. Where's the village? Unless it's this way. Light in the darkness. The depths can be plumbed for those so prepared. Hair of the dog. Canines are not known to part with their hair willingly. Ha! <laughs> Y'all look funny. Alright, so... Can I go further this way? No, okay. It looks like there's more stuff that I haven't explored yet, so let's go ahead. Apparently there's more over here. Ooh, ooh! Oh lord. That's the use of sun- Oh god damn! Ragamuffin! Oof. Oi, lady! What's with that great stinking pot on your head? I would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers. Oh, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to raggle all his frogs and swiping ineffectively at wayward fireflies with a shoddy looking bug net. Juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? 
What exactly are you hoping to accomplish, flailing about like that? Are you daft? My frogs are hungry, so I gotta catch some of these fireflies to feed them. He takes another wild swing, missing his target entirely. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That would let you swing with net, that net properly. Oh, I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. Well, how would, well, how about I'll give you the net and you catch me some fireflies? Hmm. Or you could just give me the fucking frog. Then maybe I'll think about training you one of me froggies. Boy waggles his net in your face. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Oh god, you're annoying. Oh, that oh, I'm catching that fairy. I'm catching that fairy, bruh. Nah, this is a little fa- It's a fairy circle! Duh! It's a ring of mushrooms! It's a fairy circle! Oh my goodness! I love that. I love that. It's a fairy circle. Hey, how about you step in, in the fairy circle real quick, boy? I'll, I'll have your, salt, your frogs for, for safekeeping. Oh shit. Well, these hoppers ain't gonna stick around with empty bellies. The faster you catch those fireflies, the faster we can eat. Er, I mean the frogs can eat. The boy holds out an empty jar with holes poked in the lid. Sure. The boy shakes the jar, rattling the captured insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Oh, these are nice and juicy. The lad's gonna feast tonight. Now, about our deal. You agreed to trade me one of your pets there. <laughs> what deal? I don't remember making no deal. Frog squirms out of the boy's overalls and flops by his feet with a wet slap. Dang it! Here goes Slippery Pete. He takes a dumpsy... Dumpsy... Oh, sorry. It looks like D. He takes a clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezing around his grass and bounces under into the underbrush. Oh, shucks. I never liked him anyways. If you catch him, he's all yours. Oh, you're annoying. <laughs> yes. You little shit. Alright. Um. So, I did get some new ingredients. Is the fairy an ingredient? No? Okay. Well, I caught the fairy. So... Wait. But I caught a fairy. I know I caught a fairy. Where is she? I'm mad. Unless it's... Fairy dust. Barely visible. You, But your fingers tingle at the touch. Oh, okay. Well, I got the blue flower. The flu, blue feather. Frog slime. I just need... Um... The shiny stone and dog hair. Alright, so let's... Yeah. Um... Yeah. No. Not that. The map. Zoom out. No. I gotta remember my stuff. So... I guess going further down that way? Maybe there's a village over there? Eh? <laughs> Again. More! More! Hit, <laughs> gimme. Hit, <laughs> come here. Hit, <laughs> not, come here. Flower petal. Those are definitely good for spells. Both in game and for witchcraft. I'm sure I'm gonna need y'all for something. Ooh, pretty. It's, yeah, 
I, I gotta save that. That's really cute. Oh, I thought there was something hidden over here. Okay. Alright, so is that it for the map area over here? Okay. Looks like there was something a little further down this way. No? Let me sure. Yeah, there was there's more down this way. I just can't go this way apparently. Okay. Alright. So in order to get that other thing, I needed to make Okay, so yeah, I just need water. So I guess Forest Well village there's a well hold on there was a well there was a well where wait in the oh there was a house over there oh the well's in front of my face oh are you okay bro you you, you okay well wisher oh man oh jeez. i don't know how about this you tap the man's shoulder and he nearly tumbles head first into the well Ah! What's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. Then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like some wobbly stork. What's so interesting down this well anyways? Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasure down there, just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trial and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out, and it looks awful dark and damp. I get goosebumps just thinking about the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. Ever consider that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up in here in the sun- up here in the sunlight? Er, no, not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it go down to the well and see those ghoulies yourself. This odd well is deep and dark. Oh, this old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope has long since rotted away. A cool breeze wafts up from the darkness. Give me that twine. You toss it like the strong homemade rope down into the darkness. Seems like it should support you without much fuss. Ooh. Let's get away from him so I ain't got to hear that shit. But yeah, I'm going to leave this episode right here. Um, when we start up next, we're going to go into that well, try and get some water. I'm sure we're going to have to fight some stuff and learn how to do some combat in this game since I'm assuming that's what's going to be happening. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I will be keeping up with this and Final Fantasy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.